Welcome back to Singing Our Faith. We're completing our journey in the next few episodes, singing through Glory to God, the Presbyterian Hymnal. The hymnal's been organized in three parts. The first part tells the story of God's salvation history. The middle section is the church at worship, where we hear God's story and prepare to respond. And the final third of the hymnal is our response as disciples. Today's episode is the third part of Living and Dying in Christ. Lift High the Cross, number 826, is a grand and uplifting hymn of praise that through Christ's death on the cross, we have life eternal. We'll sing verses 1, 3, and 4. In Revelation chapter 22, Christ is referred to as the morning star. Number 827, O morning star, how fair and bright, is a chorale harmonized by J.S. Bach, and it focuses our gaze on Jesus in life and in death. We'll sing verse 3, which celebrates our eternal embrace by Christ and yearns for his second coming. Stop. 
Your Love to Thee, O Christ, number 828, is a devotional hymn expressing love and trust in Christ during suffering and grief. We'll sing verses 1 and 3, which affirms, once again, that in life and in death, we belong to God. century hymn, My Faith Looks Up to Thee, number 829, lifts our eyes to Jesus throughout our life and assures us of Jesus bearing us safely above as we enter life eternal. We'll sing verses 1 and 4. Another chorale harmonized by J.S. Bach, number 830, Jesus Priceless Treasure, places our ultimate focus of devotion on Jesus. As we live and as we die, we keep Christ as our priceless treasure. We'll sing verse 1.
short Spanish song meant to be sung repetitively, number 831, I Depend on Your Faithfulness, is inspired by a verse from Lamentations that focuses on God's faithfulness. The simple melody and easily memorable words make this song good accompaniment on our journey of faith. African song from Kenya, Here on Jesus Christ I Will Stand, number 832, is a song of confidence that Jesus, and only Jesus, is the solid rock of our lives. We'll sing verses 1 and 3 and enjoy the harmonies as we sing. century hymn, O Love That Wilt Not Let Me Go, number 833, affirms that God's love embraces us in all times and in all places, in life and in death. We'll sing verses 1 and 4. Gospel song, Precious Lord, Take My Hand, number 834, was born out of the deep grief of the text writer at the death of members of his own family. The image of Jesus holding our hand and leading us through our grief and despair is both a tender and a powerful one.
The idea of Jesus walking with us is also the focus of number 835, just a closer walk with thee. Verse 3, which we will sing, speaks to Jesus walking closely with us as we die and, quote, cross o'er to thy shore. The final hymn in the section on living and dying in Christ is the well-known Abide With Me, number 836. We'll sing verses 1 and 5 as they use the images of the end of a day and the end of our life and praying for God to abide with us in life and in death. 